Welcome to Behind the Blinds with your host, me, Kate. And today, my lovely guest is Tiana Go. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, anytime. Welcome <laughs> to my hotel room. It's of beautiful, course. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. So basically, we're going to talk about mind auditions, the fashion, okay. what the vibes were, how you were feeling <laughs> from season 23, which okay. we are on. So tell me about the outfit that you wore, because it was so cute. Thank you. It was everything. So I was going for like a boho chic vibe. I'm into like the earth tone, so I kind of mixed patterns with leather and different like textures and stuff like that. Um, Have you always been like earth tony, earth tony, earth tony? Always like the foresty greens, like the oranges, like the burnt yellows, all that stuff I gravitate towards it. Is there like a fashion icon that you're like, oh I've always liked that, or like a store you're always like, I'm buying everything when I walk in? I just, I love the brand Free People. Um, that's like my go-to, um, but like as far as like an artist, I wouldn't dress like her, but Bjork is just like, so isn't cool. she crazy? Like her fits are just like over the top, and yes. hopefully one day I can like have the budget for that. Built. Yes. Scene. Yes. <laughs> you want to be able to become a literal creature. Exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes. I love that. Yeah. So tell me about like with the outfit, how much of it was yours? Okay. What did you get to like add on top of it? So the whole fit was mine except for the jewelry. The wardrobe came through with all the necklaces and the earrings, I which I was super happy about, but everything else came from their stores. Was there any piece of jewelry you were like, can I keep this please? They, I have like really gold hoop earrings. I'm not even a gold jewelry person, but they gave me all gold ju jewelry. And I was like, I was gonna swipe them, but I was like, you know what? I wanna stay on the show, so I'm not gonna swipe them. Yeah, Probably I mean, the right call. You know? Probably the right call. <laughs> when we were going in there, was it like a Cinderella moment? I felt like it was that um, scene in the movie where like the ugly nerd with the glasses, they're like, make over time. <laughs> and you walk in and they just dress you. Like Yes, that's pretty much how it felt because you only come in with a skeleton and they like elevate you. They know what they're doing, the stylists do. so. You go in and it's like, oh, wow, like, yes. this is awesome. As you continue on in the competition, and just continue on as an artist, what style do you hope to continue to have? I know it's still some of the free people flowing, yeah. nature. Uh -huh. I kind of want to continue that, and then I want to elevate it, you know, like as, it, as I go forward, hopefully I go, you know, far, but I want to just, you know, take it a step up every time I go. So I'm going to keep the base, which is like the boho chic, but maybe boho chic with like some higher heels or something. Yes. Something to, to make it a little elevated. Hot take question. If you were a coach, which now we know your coaches, mm -hmm. Niall, we're teammates. Like if you could pick any ideal like merch item to get, you know, oh, we God. all got the sweatshirts. Yeah. What would yours be? Like to <laughs> out of the coach, you're like, hey, everybody. If I, if I was a coach, yes, I would give, um, maybe like a purse of some kind or like maybe like a bracelet i don't know yeah. that's hard to think i like maybe some sort of like clothing to wear so they can wear it all the time to think of it Aww. speaking of like an item do you have something that is like your signature item like if people think about you your look your artistry they're like um this. well these two rings i literally wear every day of my life i just have these two silver rings and i don't know why but i just wear them every day for the past three years i have the most horrible tan from, from the rings. rings. <laughs> yes. so, if the ring isn't on under your ring, you don't wear it enough. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that's pretty much like my thing. It's part of my hand. The Irish. Yes. That is. Yeah, I'm glad Crazy. you noticed. I'm glad you noticed. I, I'm not even Irish at all but this ring is just beautiful i think it's called a claw claw i don't I'm, i might be saying that wrong i gotta ask Niall. yeah ask, ask him <laughs> confirm, ask him. confirm. But i think it's i don't even want to say because i might say it wrong but i love this ring so did you just get it out of nowhere and you were like this a, is my favorite a friend gave it to me she had all these rings and i was like i want that one and i didn't even know what it was and then i was working at macy's and um, a customer was like do you know what that is and i was like no she's like that's from that's an irish ring and i think if you wear the heart on the inside that means you're taken and you love someone, which is why I wear it like that for my fans. The man. Mm -hmm. The no man. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the song you sang. I was really excited because I love the song Emotions and the Bee Gees wrote it, but I did a different take on it. I did um, Destiny's Child version. And so I was able to really showcase my vocals and switch it up. So yeah, I had a good time performing that one. Was there anything you remember when you were singing of like, oh, a face someone made or like, oh, this riff is coming and I'm nervous, like any <laughs> standout moment? Yes. Yeah, so I pretty much blacked out the moment I got on stage. I took a deep breath <laughs> and then I woke back up when Niall turned his chair. So he, I was like, oh, okay, he turned his chair, but now I gotta like actually like finish, like it's not over. Yeah. So towards the end of the song, I had like a really belty note and I was just praying in my head, like, please don't F up. I don't want Niall to regret his decision. <laughs> so I just made sure I hit that note, which I think I did. 
you know, uh-huh. nerves were there, and you know, that can kind of like mess you up a little bit, but luckily I had it under control. Last season I got to um, audition and my nerves were just everywhere, yeah. so I was, I was able to come back and just center myself, and it worked out. Mm-hmm. Was there anything you feel felt different about this time versus last time? Like, did you come in with a, I know what this is? Yeah, I came in with the idea, yeah, I know what it's like, I know how it feels, but I also felt more at peace because you know whatever happens happens and I came in to the audition with like a more positive mindset and less nerves and just know that I have what it takes they invited me back so I went on that stage and I really just did what I think I was born to do and it it paid off so I'm grateful and it sounded amazing watch it it sounds amazing it's awesome was there anything specific going through your head when you were prepping to go on stage? Um, I honestly, my mom and my sister were there, so honestly, I was like, I don't want to let them down. Yeah. But literally, because like, and they're like standing right there, so like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, they can hear every single note, mm-hmm. and so that was scary. And honestly, like, it's not even about me. Like, I want to do well for my family because I know they're watching and they're rooting you on. All people at home, like, you know, everyone's rooting you on. So I go on that stage, I'm like. Not even, it's not even about me. I want to do it for them. I know, honestly. Now, turn for you is your guy, <laughs> mm-hmm. but were you starstruck by any of the celebrities, or did you have any, like, funny interactions? So, it, my sister had a funny interaction. My sister is like, obsessed with Niall and One Direction. She had posters all over the wall, so he invited her on stage and gave her a huge hug. She almost oh passed out. So, she was starstruck, um, but it was cool to see them in person. Like, they're actual real people. Yes. Like, and like they're all shiny and beautiful. I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> right, right. I'm like, this is not a dream. This no, is it's real life. So it, it's cool to see all of them. Anything that <laughs> Niall said uh-huh. or any of the coaches said to you that you were like, I'm gonna keep that forever. Oh, Niall was like saying that he was waiting for someone like me for the team, and I was like, really? that's gonna make me cry. I was like, really, like, and and it's just crazy to hear that because you know there wasn't that many people left on his team and and he was he said that and just like validates what you're doing and why you're here and i can tell that he cares describe your fashion in one word carefree that that's (laughs) up to me anyone who auditioned Mm -hmm. that's outfit you were like i'm going to steal that I mean, literally that's, yours. That is very nice. yours <laughs> with the checkered, the checkered leggings and the pink dress with all. I think were they patch up hearts? Yes, yes, hearts. So cute. Yours and Laura Littleton. Like so her fits were so cute. Everyone had really good fits, but I just like they, the things that stand out. And you, For like, sure. you walk in a room and everyone's like, "You're cool, loud, oh, bright, yeah. colors." And I think that's that's an artist. That's what an artist should look like. So I like your style. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, like your style. I want to look like I call her style Pixie Hollow. I like that. <laughs> it too. looks like like I love the whole Tinkerbell Pixie Hollow collection of everything. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That is that is the vibes. I like that. I like that. Obviously, we're gonna get to see you sing "Emotions" by the Bee Gees. But what is your music like? What do you hope people discover about you after they go down the Tiana Goss rabbit hole? After yeah. they see the blind. So I just want them to see more of me. The blind audition is just the beginning, but I want to see I want them to see the type of style that I do, which is very much R and B. And I just want to grow as well. I want the audience to grow with me because honestly, I want to be coached. Like I honestly, I want my coach to like put me in a direction that I need to be in. So like I just want the audience to grow with me, and I want to find out myself where I what lane I should be in because I feel like I'm in several lanes, but I want to find my lane. So, yeah. Well, where can people find you? What do we look up? All right, guys. So you can find, you can find me on all social media platforms at Tiana Goss, T-I-A-N-A-G-O-S-S. And that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Do it. Follow her. Listen to her beautiful music and voice. Mm-hmm. And check out her blind audition because it's uh, insane and amazing. Thank and you. stay tuned for more. Thank you, Kate. Of course. Anytime.